Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to another episode of In The Techno. Today, we're gonna take this 2011 iMac and turn it into an Apple Cinema monitor. So I recently upgraded from my 2011 iMac to the new Mac Mini and been loving it ever since. And I've got the Mac Mini hooked up to an Apple Cinema display. And this has been the second computer on my desk, but I thought it would be nice if I could have two monitors. And I thought, well, I could just go buy another Apple Cinema display. The one that I have is the Thunderbolt, it works fine. But then I thought, you know what? This seems like such a waste. I've got this exact same monitor in here and there's a kit that you can buy. And if you purchase the kit, it comes with the parts that you need to drive the monitor inside of your Apple iMac. So first things first, let's take the old one apart. So now we're looking at the back of the monitor and I've got my control board here and my various pieces. And I think what I've decided I'm gonna do is instead of mounting it in the chassis itself, I'm gonna mount these pieces directly to the back of the monitor. Just because of how frail these wires are, as a matter of fact, I had to connect this connection off camera. So I'm gonna put some um, tape and or hot glue here. This is the actual video cable and because it's not the original Apple device, it is a little more frail than I would expect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that connected. And we've got a couple of other connections here. So we have this connection that has to be unplugged from the Mac and now your control board is gonna plug in. And again, you'll do this in the same orientation as the original and it's just gonna slide right inside there. So that's ready. And then we have the backlight. So it only fits one connector and it only fits that connector one way. So when it lines up, you just go ahead and snap that in, that snaps into place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this here And then this is gonna be the bottom of our monitor here. So I'm gonna want this to come out so it's coming out to the bottom of the iMac. And I'm gonna use the glue gun to secure these to my screen. So then we're gonna mount this one here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and put some glue on the bottom of this thing. At this point, I'm going to take the screen, put it in the chassis, and we'll go from there. Let's try that right there. Let's see if that gives us that fit. We'll put it in a deeper place because on the back now all of my components are over here so this space should be vacant 
for that power supply. Let's try that again. good let's go ahead and connect HDMI So I need to clean up all the fingerprints, but let's go ahead before we go any further, before we start putting, before we start putting screws back in, power it up, make sure it works. All right, so we're done with the conversion from the iMac to a monitor, and this is it here. So the results are, as you can see here, it does work. It connects to the Mac Mini with the HDMI. This is all one big monitor now instead of being two the way that I had it configured before. Now, the one big difference is, and if you notice here, the one drawback is this monitor cannot be set as bright as the original monitor. Same panel, same design. The only difference is the controlling board. So I'm curious if there is different levels of boards that you can buy to drive this display that would give you better control or whether it's the power supply that's driving this. But you can see how bright and white this is here. But when I drag it over here, I lose some of that brightness. And even going into the menu settings, which I can do now with the controlling board here, I can't get this one as bright as this one. So at the end of the day, I would have to say I don't know if it's necessarily going to be worth it to convert this panel from the old iMac into a second monitor because you do lose a degree of brightness. It may be better to just go out and buy the monitor that you want, but but I did it so that you won't have to. So uh, your mileage may vary if you're interested. I'll have a link below that will show you the parts that I use to do the conversion. And um, we'll put out two copies of this video. One is this short video you're watching now which is a description, and then we'll put out a longer one. So if you go up here to the card, if you want to watch the whole process of me actually moving all the components out and in, I'll put a longer version of it in there. Uh, but that's it. That's the iMac, 27-inch iMac turned into a 27-inch cinema. I'll do air quotes because it's not really quite the same level. Cinema display. Subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. And until next time, I'm Chris at In The Techno.